Hello, welcome to the demonstration of Nasdell Technologies Application Performance Monitoring Solution Autopilot. We're going to take a sneak peek at the new UI user interface that Autopilot's sporting. It's a web-based interface and it's role-based as well. The different viewlets you see are configured by the administrator and so are the different tasks and views. So this user at Acme Financial Services has been assigned things, activities such as diagnose transaction, problem, respond to an alert, review service health, and review the status of some applications that they're in charge of. In the view lit on the top left, we see a line chart of business service status, things like payment, order processing. Down at the bottom, we have a bar chart of IT service status, and these are all configurable as well. Top right, we have a geographical view that shows the status of data centers and their applications vis-a-vis -vis their service level agreements across the U.S. in this case. And finally, on the bottom right, the view lit here is called Alert Summary, and this shows you what you need to know now. And we're looking at the application net position, and it was running check credit balance, and it missed its service level agreement. So let's dive in and find out the root cause for this problem. Now, interestingly enough, in our APM solution, we're data type agnostic. In addition to J2EE, .NET, middleware, and mainframe, we also can analyze any type of data that the customer has with our SEP engine. In this case, they asked us at Acme to monitor their net position, which to them meant cash in, cash out, credit in, credit out. We have a red alert over here on that. Let's dive in and see what our transactions are doing. So we bring up a view called Top Charts that breaks it up by transactions, applications, servers, resource types, depending what you're entitled to see, of course, and the particular types of completion status, whether the transaction's finished, whether it's failed, missed a service level agreement, or in progress. Well, we want to go in and run a trace and get the details of this. So we see our transaction that missed its SLA. The next thing we want to do is dive and get a trace. So our trace shows us each operation. We discover these automatically down to the method level. And this could be a Java method, a .NET. It could be a message operation. Here you see an mget, uh, an MQ put. We see our Kix transactions as well, every bit. In fact, this particular one here, where we missed our service level agreement, was running a SQL script. We look in and we can see the update statement as well. And this is potentially the root cause of this problem. Now, broadening this up a bit as well, too, we can see a, a view of this, what we call a transaction flow diagram. So for the IT practitioner, we have a topology that's automatically discovered. And here's our end user. And they're communicating, their application's running uh, across the topology of a Linux server running WAS, some middleware messaging, a WebLogic server, you can see it running equities over here, and a mainframe running Kix and DB2. And look at this. 40% of our resources, or the percentage of the time in this transaction, have been eaten up by this particular component. Now, this is for the IT person. We also have a higher level view, if you will, the 50,000 foot level, that where we can show milestones. Think of this as your progress through the business process. And here we can see, without all the messy details, because in this role, we're not trying to solve a problem. We want to understand where it is in the process. And here you see trade start. And you notice here we've got status on verification and customer access. OK, that's the end. This was a brief summary of Autopilot, Nastel's APM solution. And we took you through a tour of some of its functionality and its new user interface. For additional information, go to www.nastel.com. Thank you.